welcome to all in the next lecture that is on matrix and linear equations so now how can we find the solution of the system of linear equations by the matrices and here we use the inverse method to find the solution of the system of linear equations so linear equations are common and important for survey problems matrices can be used to express these linear equations and add in the computation of unknown values so here like we have the n equations in n unknowns the aij are numerical coefficients and the bi are represents the constants and xj are here the unknowns so xj xj the values which we want to find the variables right so our equations system of uh, linear equations is this type a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a1 and x n equal to b1 so like that we have the equation linear uh, linear equations so now the equations which we have a uh, linear system of equations that are the types of ax equal to b where a b x b these are are the matrices a is the matrix of the coefficient of the variables and capital x is the are the variables x1 x2 xn which is we have means uh, maybe x y z or x1 x2 x3 like that and b b is the matrices of the constant terms that will be uh, in our the right side so here our this matrix of the coefficient matrix will be the order of n cross n and the variables are n here so the matrices this is the column matrix of the variables that the order is n cross 1 so now because the these inner dimensions are same so we can multiply this ax and we will get the b b the order is n cross 1 so this is also the column matrix of our b so we can solve our linear equations so it uh, for this we have must have the number of unknowns that must be equal to the number of equations that is here n so then we can solve our the equations and find the value of the variables if the determinant is non zero the equation can be solved to produce and numerical values for x that satisfy all the simultaneous equations and to solve pre multiply both sides of the equation which equation ax equal to b by a inverse which exists because determinant a not equal to 0 so what does it mean means uh, to find the inverse of any equation of any matrices we have must have that determinant a should not be equal to 0 then we can find the inverse now uh, our equation was ax equal to b so here we pre multiply by a inverse like that so now we have a inverse a what is a inverse a a inverse a is are the identity so we can write this this is the identity so identity x it means that the x that is equal to a inverse b so like that we can find the values of variables x by inverse a inverse b means first we need to find the inverse of the given matrix and then multiply with that matrix by the b matrix so we will get the value of our the variable so if the inverse of the coefficient matrix is found the unknowns x would be determined means we can find the values of our the variables now let's take an example suppose here we want we have this example and we need to find the solution of this system of equations by matrix method matrix method means we have to find the solution of these matrices by the inverse method so we have this this system of equations so this is 3x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 2 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 x1 plus 2x2 minus 
x3 this is equal to 3 so here what are our the variables which we want to find means the solution uh, the solution of any equation it means that we need to find the value of the variables of that equations so here what are the variables we have the variables are x1 x2 x3 so for the solution of this system of equations we need to find the values of x1 x2 and x3 by the matrix method means the inversion method so here first we convert our the given uh, system of equations in terms of ax equal to b so what is ax equal to b what is a a is the matrix of the coefficient matrix of the variables so here what is the coefficient of x1 in the first equation 3 so we put here 3 and in the first row and the coefficient of x2 is minus 1 so we put here minus 1 the coefficient of x3 is 1 so we put here 1 so like that we form our the coefficient matrix and in second equation x1 coefficient is 2 so we put here in 2 x2 coefficient is 1 so we put here 1 so now here in the second equation we have not the value of x3 it means that the coefficient of x3 is 0 so we put here 0 next uh, the coefficient of x1 in third equation is 1 so this is 1 and the coefficient of x2 is 2 so we put here 2 the coefficient of x3 is minus 1 so we put here minus 1 so this is our the a now x what is x x capital x it means that the values of the variables and variables are here x1 x2 and x3 so this is our x equal to b so what is the b matrix that is the coefficient constant terms matrix that is will be in right side of our equation so this is 2 1 3 so this is our b matrix so now we want to solve the values of here x1 x2 x3 by the inversion method so we have this a so first we need to find the inverse of this matrix right so uh, for uh, first we compute the a inverse then we put x equal to a inverse b because we form want to find the x right so a inverse b so first we find the a inverse so you know already how to find the a inverse so this will be our the a inverse now we multiply this a inverse with our b matrix that is 2 1 3 column matrix so now we first we want uh, we multiply these two matrices right and you also know how to find uh, multiply the two matrices right so when we calculate the when we multiply these a inverse and b so we will get like these column matrix that is 2 minus 3 and 7 so now what is capital x capital x is are the x1 x2 x3 so like that we have the value of x1 is 2 the value of x2 is minus 3 and the value of x3 is 7 right so like that we have the values of we can find the solution of the given uh, equations right so now the value of unknown should be checked by substitution back into the initial equations means if you want to check that your solution is right or not so you can check it by the putting these values which you will get in your answer x1 x2 x3 you can put these values in your given equations we, are, we have these equations so you put here these values x1 x2 x3 and verify your answer if these values of x1 x2 x3 satisfy your equations so you uh, your values are correct right so now we check here 3 <clears throat> multiply x1 what is our x1 2 so put here 2 minus what is x2 x2 is minus 3 so put here minus 3 after that plus x3 what is x3 minus 7 so put here minus 7 when you solve this then you will get 2 right and here in our right side the equation is 2 similarly when you put here your x1 x2 value in equation 2 so you will get 1 when you put your values of x1 x2 x3 in equation 3 in left side then you will get 3 so uh, we will get the values of right side so we can say that the our answer is correct the values of variables which we find 
that is the correct answer clear okay so now one more thing you have to remember that to solving the equations or the values of variables by the inversion method that suppose we have this system of equations x plus 2 y plus z equal to 1 2 x minus y plus 2 z equal to 2 and 3 x plus y plus 3 z equal to 4 so now first initially first what you want first you see that what is your a matrix if your a matrix means the determinant of a is equal to 0 it means you can't find the a inverse right so see what is a here what is the a matrix here this is 1 2 1 coefficient of x y z are 1 2 1 in first row 1 2 1 in the second row 2 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 2 now in the third row 3 1 3 3 1 3 so this is are the matrix a so now you can check that first what is the determinant of this matrix when you check that the determinant of this matrix so you will find that the determinant of this matrix is zero it means that we can't find the inverse of this equation this matrix it means that we can't solve these equations right so similar uh, like that the coefficient matrix a is displayed here so the inverse a doesn't exist why because uh, the determinant of when you solve this this is equal to zero so a does a inverse doesn't exist so if inverse doesn't exist exist it means that we can't use the technique of multiply a inverse by matrix b to find the variables of x y z right so whenever the inverse of a matrix doesn't exist we say that the matrix is singular right you know what is the singular matrix if determinant is uh, equal to 0 so we say that that matrix is the singular matrix now here we have the two cases in uh, two cases where inverse method will not work what are these first one is if the coefficient matrix is singular so if we have this type of matrix so we say that we can't find the inverse second thing is that if the number of variables like that in the equation if the number of variables is not same as the number of equations so in that case also we can't find the inverse right because we have which equations we have uh, how many equations we have uh, so like that we have the variables also so we can find the inverse otherwise not so now let's take another example here we have to find solve the equations by the matrix method here we have the two equations so two variables are there x and y so for what will you do first first these equations are which type of equations ax equal to b where a, a is the coefficient matrix and what is the coefficient matrix 5 2 5 2 3 2 3 2 right and what is capital x here how many variables we need to find x and y two variables equations is this so our capital x is small x and y and b what is the b matrix that is the three five elements are there so now what are the first task first task is that we need to find the inverse sorry determinant of a so what will be the determinant of a because this is a 2 by 2 matrix so we can directly find the determinant that is the by cross multiplication so 5 to 10 minus 3 to 6 so that is 4 so we see that this is not equal to 0 it means that we find the inverse right now for after that the inverse uh, we need to find the adjoint of a matrix because uh, to find the inverse what is the, uh, what is a inverse a inverses are the adjoint of a upon determinant of a so we need to find first adjoint of a so uh, i already told you that if we have the 2 by 2 matrix so we can directly find the adjoint of a right uh, how can we find the adjoint of a so we have to change the main diagonal elements so like that 2 5 and uh, change the sign of the known diagonal element so this is minus 2 minus 3 so just we do like that so we can find out the adjoint a so now what will be the inverse a inverse is adjoint of a upon determinant of a and what is determinant of a 4 
so it means that 1 by 4 and the adjoint days are the matrix so now we have to divide uh, all elements by 4 then we will get out the a inverse right now we need to find the uh, solve these equations it means that we need to find the values of variables x y so what is x x is a inverse b so we need to multiply this a inverse by our b matrix so when we multiply this so this is 1 by 4 when we multiply this so we will get minus 4 16 it means that when we divide this by 4 so we will get what is x capital x is are the x y column matrix and we will get here after solving this the column matrix is minus 1 4 so like that our x is minus 1 and y is 4 clear how to solve the system of equations by the inverse method okay so now let's take in another example that is the 3 by 3 matrix here so here we need to find the solution of this system of equations which we have here the three variables x y and z so now first this is the form of ax equal to b and what is our a matrix here a is the coefficient matrix right of the variables so see the first equation first equation is x plus y equal to 0 so x plus y so x coefficient is 1 y coefficient is 1 and what is z z is not here it means that the coefficient of z is 0 so we put here 0 now come to the second equation that is y plus z equal to 1 so what is the coefficient of x here no x is here so the coefficient of x is here 0 so we put here 0 now what is the coefficient of y 1 coefficient of z 1 so like that our second row is 0 1 1 now come to the third equation so here what is the coefficient of x that is 1 so put here 1 and here we see that not y is here it means that the coefficient of y is 0 so put here 0 now the coefficient of z is 1 so like that this a is r the coefficient matrix right now what is capital x capital x is the uh, matrix of the column matrix of the variables so that is x y z and b b is the column matrix of the constant terms like that 0 1 3 now first we need to find the determinant of this matrix so we solve this determinant of matrix and we will get 2 that is not equal to 0 it means that inverse is exist here now to find the inverse we need to find the first adjoint of a and to find the adjoint of a first we need to find the cofactors because here we have the 3 by 3 matrix so first we find the cofactors of our a matrix so our cofactors first is a11 so what is a11 means we have to hide first row and first column so we and multiply these cross multiplication 1 minus 0 so it become 1 so you already know how to find the cofactors so like that we find the cofactors and how many cofactors we have 9 so like that we find our all cofactors with the sign right means plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so you have to remember these signs and calculate the values of cofactors. Now, uh, what is our adjoint A? The adjoint of A is the transpose of the cofactors matrix. So just we have to transpose our the cofactors matrix. So that is this. So this is the adjoint of A. So now what is A inverse? A inverse is the adjoint of A upon determinant of A. And what was our determinant of A? That is 2. So that is 1 by 2 and this is the matrix. So now what we need to find capital X and what is capital X that is A inverse B. So now we multiply our this A inverse by our B matrix. So now we will get after multiplication we will get 2 minus 2 4. So and after that we need to divide these uh, elements by 2. So we will get out the values of X, Y, Z that is 1 minus 1 and 2 clear now how to solve this differential these uh, linear or linear equations so now today's lecture is completed now thank you be happy be healthy